Every champion on earth, from athletes to data scientists, follow the same blueprint for winning. Search, test, and refine. They search for the best knowledge, test it against reality, and refine their approach until it's unbeatable. For the first time, we have perfectly captured that winner's blueprint in an AI agent, and it is the MLE Star agent from Google. And stick around because later in the video, I'm going to show you the full end-to-end -end demo of this agent in action and maybe even try to win a Kaggle competition. But first, this is the story of how MLE Star was born. To understand how incredible this system actually is, here's our journey for today. So let's start with the first part, which is the problem. As we all know, building truly high-performing machine learning models is incredibly challenging. It's a process that's complex and demands a huge amount of manual effort and this is why naturally we have turned to AI for help. Large language models have shown incredible promise as MLE or machine learning agents for automating these workflows. But that's where there's a bit of a pitfall as well. Most current agents have two major weaknesses. First, they rely on outdated internal knowledge. And second, their approach to improving code is very broad and unfocused. Let's go a little bit deeper on that second point because it's the critical difference. Existing agents often engage in course exploration. That means they jump between steps. Let's try a new model. Now let's tune hyperparameters without fully exploring any single. It's a little bit of a shallow approach. This is where MLE Star shines, right? MLE Star, on the other hand, performs deep exploration. It focuses intensely on one component at a time, trying many different strategies until that component is truly optimized before moving on. And this brings us to the solution, which is MLE Star. It overcomes this limitation with a powerful two-pronged approach, leveraging external knowledge through search, as well as performing deep exploration through targeted refinement. Now, the framework itself is a three-stage process. Number one is initialization, then refinement, and then the last one is ensembling. Now, let's start with initialization. That is the first stage in the search phase of our champion blueprint. So if you look at this, it actually begins with the retriever agent. It connects to a search engine and asks, what are the best, most recent models for this specific problem? This immediately grounds the agent in the present. Now, once it has the list of potential models, the init agent takes over, which is the initialization agent. It writes a simple script for each one and runs it to get a validation score, giving us a ranked list of candidates. But we don't think that is the winner right now. That is where the merger agent takes a top performing script and tries to integrate the other good models into it. This continues until the scope and the score stops improving, leaving us with a single complete and functional Python script that is already a sophisticated starting point. Now we move to the core of the framework where we are testing and refining parts of the blueprint. So. This is where it's built on a clever two-loop system. The outer loop is the strategies. Its only job is to identify single most impactful code block. The inner loop is the specialist. It actually concentrates on all of its efforts on that one block, okay? So how does the outer loop find its target? It uses an ablation agent to test the code. Next is the extractor agent. The extractor agent isolates the exact lines of code that were identified as a target. Now we entered the inner loop to refine it. Here, the planner agent suggests a new creative way to improve the specific block and the coder agent implements that plan. Crucially, the planner isn't just guessing. It actually is learning from its own experiments. It sees that its first attempt worked well while its second attempt failed. Based on this feedback, it forms a smarter third plan. Now, what we will do is we'll get into a demo and actually I'll show you this in action. So I am in the ADK GitHub page, the ADK's agent development kit samples GitHub page, where you can see that they have provided much greater details and obviously the code about this particular agent. So this is how the distribution is, right? This is how the multi-agent MLE system works. There is an initialization agent, then there is refinement agent, ensemble agent and submission agent. And then each agent is tasked to do certain things. And you can already see the different kind of features over here. And there are like setup instructions very clearly laid out. There's a bit of a dependency on poetry. So you will need to install that. 
then obviously you need to have a Google Cloud account and the G Cloud CLI as well. And then once you're done with all of those things, then, you know, you will need to clone the repository from this GitHub into your environment. And then obviously install Poetry and then, then activate it to run the demo. What this is really good at is actually winning competitions. So if I come to Kaggle.com, I can go to the competitions page. So these are all the competitions that have happened. So if I click on this and see which competition had the maximum number of teams, I see that Titanic has the maximum number of team. In this competition, you will have access to two types of data sets, obviously like a train and test data. And once you have finished whatever you're trying to achieve, in this case, you're trying to predict which passenger will survive or not. So basically your output should have only two columns, passenger ID and survived. You can already see the data, which is over here. So the training data set and the test data set. All right, so now I'm going to run the ADK web command, which will trigger the ADK's UI demo environment. There you go. So I'm going to click on this and you can see I'm in this, I'm in this UI. I'm going to initiate the conversation. Just going to say hi. You can start seeing the events being triggered. So it says, hello. How can I help you today? Now in, in my prompt, I did say that address by Surya, so it's doing that for me. What I am going to ask, what can you do? So now it's going to explain, for example, here it's predicting Titanic survivors. So this is where I've already specifically asked it to do that because we have given the task description, everything around here is around that, right? So that's what we're doing. Okay. So I'm asking it to explain the process and then go ahead and execute. So the idea is here again, like it is going to do the initialization and then run different commands. So now it has transferred to the agent. So you're already seeing that. So this is now running the MLE front door agent. The task is to predict the passenger survival. So now the first thing it is doing, it is actually going ahead and doing a Google search to find, you can see the search thing over here. It's trying to find like the XG post for Titanic data set, LI, GBM, et cetera. So it's actually like doing that first bit as we have discussed. Based on that, it is writing a Python code and trying to run that particular one. And it has tried the first iteration, right? So it's going to take some time, but then the idea is instead of like just going off based on the LLM, instead of doing that, it is trying to find the latest and greatest technique out there, which will be suitable for a classification kind of a scenario. And it's going to run that particular one to, and then it will continuously kind of evaluate, right? So that's what it's going to do. And you can see this live in action. As I mentioned before, it's going to take a little bit of a time so we can come back and look at the final result. And here is the final output. Looks great with an accuracy of around 0 0.85, which is not bad to begin with at all. So the framework was tested on the MLE bench light benchmark, which consists of 22 challenging Kaggle competitions. The results were truly exceptional. It achieved a 64% medal achievement rate. So let's bring it all together. MLE Star succeeds because it embodies that timeless winning blueprint. It searches for the state-of-the-art knowledge. It tests its own code to find the weakness. It refines its approach with a focus and depth that previous agents lacked and you saw it also live. I hope this was helpful. This has been a comprehensive look at MLE Star. If you have any questions or comments, please do let me know on, on the comment section below. I will see you in the next one.